गाइस वेलकम टू वी टीच अकेडमी डॉट कॉम एंड हियर इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट साइकिल एक्सप्रेशन सो हियर लेट एस कंसिडर दी एक्सप्रेशन एफ ऑफ एक्स कामा वाई कामा जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब इन टू वाई माइनस जेड प्लस वाई क्यूब इन टू जेड माइनस एक्स प्लस जेड क्यूब इन टू एक्स माइनस वाई सो हियर बाई रिप्लेसिंग एक्स विथ वाई एंड वाई विथ एक्स वी गेट f of y comma x comma z as y cube into x minus z plus x cube into z minus y plus z cube into y minus x. And here we observe that this expression is not equal to f of x comma y comma z. Similarly, we can say that f of x comma y comma z is not symmetric in y and z. As f of x comma y comma z is not equal to f of y comma x comma z, and also it is not symmetric in x and z, as f of x comma y comma z is not equal to f of z comma y comma x. So here we can say that f of x comma y comma z is not symmetric in x and y, y and z, and z and x. But here, if we replace x by y, y by z, and z by x simultaneously in f of x comma y comma z. We get the result as f of y comma z comma x equal to y cube into z minus x plus z cube into x minus y plus x cube into y minus z. So here we observe that this expression is equal to f of x comma y comma z. So here f of x comma y comma z is said to be a cyclic expression. If it satisfies the condition f of x comma y comma z is equal to f of y comma z comma x, so here we use the symbols sigma and pi to write these cyclic expressions. And here sigma is used for the sum of terms, and pi is used for product of terms. So here let us consider an example. x into y plus z plus y into z plus x plus z into x plus y. So here we denote this expression as sigma x into y plus z. Now similarly, let us consider another example over here. So here we have a square plus b square into b square plus c square into c square plus a square. So here we have product of some expressions. So we denote this expression as pi a b c of a square plus b square. Now let us proceed and solve few examples over here. So here we have the four examples. Now let us expand these examples. So here we have the first one as sigma a comma b a square b. So by expanding this expression, we get a square b plus b square a. And now similarly let us expand the second example so here we have sigma a comma b comma c a square into b minus c which gives a square into b minus c plus b square into c minus a plus c square into a minus b and now coming over to the third example we have pi a comma b comma c a square minus b square so this we can write as a square minus b square Into b square minus c square into c square minus a square, and we have here fourth example as pi a comma b comma c into x plus c. This we can write as x plus a into x plus b into x plus c. So this was a basic introduction on cyclic expressions and also how to expand the cyclic expressions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.